everybody, and welcome to another season of the DGBA with Coach Oak. So we're here, uh, season three now. This is our second season in the league. Uh, yeah, we are back. The league is just finishing up first season. We did lose out in the quarterfinals. Hopefully, it is a little bit better uh, in terms of getting through the season this time, better scheduling time for people, etc., etc., as well as. We are going to two battles a week, which is fast-paced, uh, which should be fun and lead to some probably a little bit crazy matches. Um, hopefully we can keep up and keep it on a faster pace to get us through the season quicker. So hopefully that works out better for us. But either way, I have decided I'm going to bring back those battles onto the channel. Uh, keep myself at least a little bit of uploading going on here. So let's jump into the team. Uh, we did switch up our tier structure a little bit. You are going to get to see the whole team in one second. Uh, we went to GBA tiers, um, 400 free points. So yeah. Oh, I forgot that last pick surprise because I forgot to put it in here. Uh, anyways, there's our quick overview of our tiers, etc. Uh, tier 1, tier 2, two tier 3s, tier 4, tier 5, uh, mega tier, and for free picks, um, sorry, I should go back and redo this, but it's late and I want to get this done and out. First off, we have Tapu Bulu, named a Terra Nova. So, of course, the names that will be there will be their nicknames for the season. Some of these nicknames, I'm, if you have better suggestions, put them down below. I'm not 100% sold on some of them. Uh, some of them I do very much like. So, we have Terra Nova, the Tapu Bulu, who went round one. Uh, Tapu Bulu, of course, what is your switch in? It's a, you make the opponent answer that question. Uh, and yeah, so that's just the first thing that we wanted to do right off the top here, was pick up something that's threatening, but also Tapu Bulu, you will find, goes very, very well with the rest of the draft plan, which fortunately, I did not get sniped too much. There was a ton of sniping going on in this draft. But luckily, I only was sniped once, and it only affected two mons on my team. Um, Wish I wish I hadn't, of course, but I can't complain considering what was going on with other people, including I sniped this Tapabulu from somebody. So, yay me! I get Tapabulu. I haven't used Tapabulu in a while in league. I do very much enjoy it, and well, sorry, singles league. I do have it in the TTBL, but anyways, Tapabulu, it's a monster. What is your switch in? Every team needs to answer that question. That's what I want out of a tier one. Now to go with Tapu Bulu, I went a little uncreative. We went with Heatran. We went Heatran, Bulu, Bulu Tran here. Uh, I've never really ever used Heatran. Um, it causes me problems, especially when I play ladder and stuff. But I don't really use it myself. However, the synergy with Tapu Bulu, it's been talked about, but I'll go over it just quickly. Those two absolutely complement each other. Just silly good. Uh, grassy Terrain will keep Earthquake from being as hard on Bulu, on, or on Heatran, sorry. Uh, so even if without that switching capabilities, of course also Bulu will resist any ground type moves. Um, Heatran is immune to the poison type moves. Bulu fears. Uh, let's see, fighting moves Bulu resists, which would threaten Heatran. Um, there's a bunch of others too. Those are off the top of my head. They just cover each other's types so, so, so well. Fire type, of course, Flash Fire Heatran. Um, I know there's at least, well, uh, Heatran's gonna resist Flying Stab, uh, which could threaten Bulu. Bug, threaten Bulu. Um, yeah, there's. There's just so many ways with these to complement each other. Um, I do like the flexibility of the two as well. You can run some different stuff. Um, I, I'm excited to get a chance to use Heatran. It's not a mon that I normally gravitate to, but that being said, I do like it. I think it's got good flexibility, and I want to try it in somewhere where I can kind of mess around with it a little bit, uh, use a few different sets. Do some different things, and I think the rest of my team will allow me to do that. And of course, Bulu Tran is just scary. That was the plan, found out the draft order, and I was near, I wasn't on, but I was near the back wheel of the first round, which is perfect in my mind to pick up Bulu Tran. So I went, stuck with it, went Bulu Tran. And to round out both of our cores, 
Sorry, and this is Anvil Nineheart. I know it's after Jim the Anvil Nightheart, but it's Nineheart, no heart, for the play on the words, of course. Um, but no, I didn't spell that one wrong. It's just it's just a play on words. We have Tony Storm, the Kingdra, filling out our Firewater Grass and our Dragon Steel Fairy course. Um, you will see more of why Kingdra comes besides just filling out the cores as we go in here. Um, but you have a really good mod. If nothing else, Bulu, Heatran, and Kritra as a combination. If you give that cup, that trio comp, uh, speed control or just run dual scarf on Bulu Tran and agility on Kritra, that's scary. That's, ow, I, I'm scared of that. I don't want to face that. Um, yeah, some win cons there for sure. Really good mod. I've, I've been wanting to use Kingdra a lot as of recent, and this kind of, you know, seemed like a good team to do it on. Um, and actually, Bulutran was a late addition to the team planning uh, compared to Kingdra. This started, this, I'll go through more of the team planning that kind of happened here. This team took on some very different roles as things went on. But anyways, we have Kingdra coming in here. And to pair with Kingdra, we have a Zerkatry, Kota Ibushi the Zerkatry, the uh, Shining Star of the Ultra Beasts. So, or sorry, the Golden Star of the Ultra Beasts. Ooh. Um, not the Shining Star of the Puerto Rico, though. No, no, no. Uh, anyways, we have a Zerkatry. A tier 2 Zerkatry to me was just kind of stuck out to me on the dock. And I kind of just really wanted to draft that. Again, not a mod I've used a ton. I have used it a lot more than Heatran. Um, which I know weird because it's come out since. That's how little I've used Heatran. Not a mod I've used a ton. But again, it's another win con. Uh, sets itself up with spoilers, Z moves. This is what our Z Crystal Captain. Um, it's it's hard not to go Zerkatry, the Z Crystal Captain. Z Rain Dance, Z Extra Electric Terrain, Z Hypnosis. Z Hypnosis it can win games by itself. If I want to run Z Rain Dance into Kinkra, that's wonderful as well. Z Electric Terrain, just to get that boost in power, is wonderful. It gets Tail Glow. If you give it Speed Spore, that can be incredible. Or if you go Hypnosis Set, it hits so, 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 so hard. And I'm interested to use it in draft. This will be the first I've used it in a draft league format. And I'm looking forward to making some people hate their lives by beast boosting all over them. Next up, we do have Poly Monsoon, the Poly Toad. Bring in that drizzle, bring in the rain, helping out Kingdra. Letting me put up thunders off of Zergatry. Hmm, uh, that's hmm, okay. Uh, obviously, Heatran doesn't really love playing in the rain, but I can kind of go both ways with this team, which is what I like about it. Um, I never like to go hard on a single weather. I either like to go multi weather or, which I know, multi, multi weather is just fun. It's not necessarily the best, but, um, or I kind of have a mode outside of the weather. Uh, this team does have two modes for sure, um, but it definitely is a rain team, I will admit to it. Um, I did go Politoed here instead of waiting, even though there's no other weather teams in the league. I got scared because Pelipper costs more points, which is why I went Politoed, or else I would have gone Pelipper just for the defog. But... If I, at this point, I have used my two tier 1s and two, uh, and, or sorry, my tier 1, tier 2, a tier 1 and tier 2 in free points, and I do not have enough points to grab Pelipper if Politoed goes. There was one other team that scared me a little bit. They could have gone Rain, so I, I went with Politoed. That did cost me Cofagrigus, which was kind of my next mon I wanted. So that was unfortunate. It did change things. I didn't want Cofagrigus. Snorlax is my next two. However, we do pick up really good... Uh, I should talk more about Politoed. So Politoed obviously drizzles. Uh, very good eject button user, to be honest. Um, it can do some, you know, annoying things. Encore, Paris Trap. Um, it's fairly bulky. can lay Toxics. It can do some mean things. Um, 
and I'm hoping to kind of, I haven't really used Politoed much, uh, I think it's adorable, of course, um, but it's not something I ever really use, because I always loved Polyrath so much more, uh, and Draft, I didn't start Draft till Gen 7, Palper tends to be where I go, just for U-Turn and Defog, uh, I tend to my normal flexibility, but Politoed was cheaper, which is not always the case, so I went with Polito because it let me get that Zerka tree and let me get Bulu Tran. And yeah, so that just was why we went Polito here, and I was just too scared to lose it. Um, if I did lose it, I would have to go with like a Murkrow Lumise Rain team, which can work, but I, I want a little more consistency in getting that drizzle up um, for Kingdra and for Zerka tree as well. And with the Mega we are going to get, which I'm sure you can figure out which Mega it is, we were able to wait on our Mega when you draft Rain, because if no one else drafts Rain, no one else is really taking Mega Swampert. So, you know, we'll get there. But we now have Naya Hax, the mill tank. Um, losing Kofa Grigas, I want another defensive wall in, in Tier 4. I uh, went with mill tank. Uh, good mon, uh, I've used it. I, I like to take him when it's tier 5, it kind of goes back and forth between tier 4 and tier 5, but I do think it's a very good mod. It does get heal bell, uh, I don't use heal bell a lot, but it does have reliable co recovery, it is pretty bulky, it's got great coverage, it is actually fairly fast. <laughs> In sadness though, this is my fastest mod, naturally. I have lots of ways to boost my speed with mods, but Mill Tank is my fastest mod. We will see how that goes. This could go very, very badly. But I still like it. I still like it. When your wall is your fastest mon, it's a bit scary. But Miltank, super bulky, of course, does all kinds of things um, that causes problems. And just, you know, it can make people hate their life as well as kind of force them to ring fighting types, which is my team doesn't struggle with too much. So I don't mind that at all if they want to do that, or bring fighting moves. Obviously Heatran does not like it, but we can, we've got other things to deal. Uh, yeah, Miltank, very good mon, can help out this team, can do a lot of things, good tier 4 bulk for me. On a team that doesn't have a ton of, lots of bulky offense, but not a ton of real bulk, you know, do mean things. Uh, that's going to be Miltank, as well as, as I said, for them, Mega Swampert. Sapsipper, to go with that, is always very nice. Um, a Miltank would love an attack boost just to hit that a little bit harder. Um, it is fairly fast, it is pretty bulky, so if you can get it that the attack boost, switching into a grass type attack, that's really good. You can turn this thing into a bit of a threat. Uh, spam off body slams, things like that. Anyways, we have a return from a DGBA Season 2. This is the only return in the squad. We have Gadget the Hitmonlee is back. Um, I really debated going Hitmonlee the round before. I waited because there was all three Hitmons still on the board. Hitmonlee was the one I wanted, but I would have been happy with the, any of them. And if I was really in a pinch, I would have gone Kamala and probably dropped Miltank after. Um, but luckily it didn't come to bat. The pick before us, Hitmon top went. Hitmonlee went here, then one pick, then Hitmonchan. All the Hitmons, that run of Hitmons did definitely occur. I predicted correctly where it would be. Luckily, I got the one I wanted in Hitmonlee. I did. I wanted the Unburden. Um, Hitmontop is bulkier, but I wanted the Unburden to help out my speed. Um, set up another Mon that can set up its speed and go. Even though it's not naturally super fast, it can get... Very fast and very helpful. Uh, great rapid spinner, bulky on the special side. Um, between it and Mill Tank, you've got really bulky defense, really bulky special. People forget that Hitmonlee hey, is actually very bulky on the special side, especially with Assault Vest, and it's a very good Assault Vest user. Um, if you want to run Reckless Assault Vest, it's good, and you can put a lot of bulk, it, uh, a lot of your EVs into bulk, and it's still with Reckless hit fairly hard with that high jump kick. So, great mod, love this mod. Good old go-go -go gadget, get me a win. Next up we have Tiny Dancer. This is the other 
kind of switch up that occurred with the um, switch to the uh, mill tank over Cofagriga Snorlax. We went with Alola Marowak and mill tank. Not quite as good, but still a very solid combination. Uh, this is Tiny Dancer or Marowak. Lightning Rod obviously is nice on a rain team. I'm not, because I don't have Pelipper, it's not as big a thing, and I do have Grand Weakness, but it's good to have. Will resist grass types as well. Uh, good fire type to put it on the rain side of things. Heat trend not as good on that side, so I didn't mind that. One of the ghost typing was the main one. Hits hard. Again, if you can get this thing speed control, it can take over matches. Uh, Rockhead also very good for it with Flare Blitz when you want to run that. But Lightning Rod definitely is a attraction here, um, as well as the Ghost Typing. Another Stealth Rocker as well. So both my Fire Types are type Stealth Rockers as well. So that's kind of interesting to note. Um, yeah, I I haven't used a Lolowak in Draft, but I've, I've seen it do good things. And I'm hoping I can use it well. I don't know... It's one of those I'm not super sold on, but I think it was the best based on what to do. This is kind of where I wish I didn't get sniped, but I will take it, and I will run with it, and I will use Tiny Dancer to her fullest potential. We now drop into this tier 5. We have Bonehearted, the Vullaby we are picking up. Don't think I've ever used Vullaby ever. So, you're seeing a trend. This is kind of a draft I haven't really used. But I needed more clearing, because right now I just have hit monthly. Uh, so I wanted to spin her into Defogger. I didn't have really the best clearing. Often, rain teams, you don't... My team's kind of set up -y. Didn't really need that much clearing, but you do want it for those matchups. Um, and just to deter, if you don't have it, you're in trouble. Well, be pretty bulky. Uh, good typing in the dark flying. Um, a light makes this thing very good. Um, obviously bonehearted, referring to the heart in the bone diaper there, but Vullaby, cool little mod. Uh, I'm going to be interested to see how often I bring it, how often I can find uses for it. I'm going to have to dive a little more into its moveset and uh, kind of do some calcs of its bulk, see what happens. But I think it fit the team very well, and I'm excited to bring it in. The next pick is going to round out the team very nicely and bring a lot of things that I did not have. Not in itself a great mod, but it fits this team really, really well. And it's something I've kind of wanted to use just because I, you know, memories of Johto. We got Ecker Creep here. Um, the Ariados. I used to love Ariados. It used to be one of my favorite mods back in Gen 2. Um, not a huge fan of Gen 2, as I've mentioned before, but... When I was, you know, when Gen 2 was the most recent gen, and that was kind of when I started into Mons, um, this was one of my favorite Mons. I would always start start my game at night to get this a knock towel because they were both really cool. And I have taken area doses all the way to the to to the Hall of Champions. So I'm hoping to take this one all the way to the DGBA Season 3 Finals. Uh, what really is the help here is Speed Sport. Sticky web, toxic spikes, there you go. And, you know, string shot, it's got, it's got a few other things. Maybe I can get a fell stinger up and, you know, some point, maybe? I don't know. But, basically, it's sticky webs, toxic spikes, which I really wanted both of those things. Uh, sash lead a lot of the time, most likely. That's, you know, just... I don't think I'm spoiling anything for anyone in the league when you, when I say that's what it does. Um, Ecker Creep is going to bring those webs, those T-spikes, and really help the team out the few times it's brought. Uh, assuming I can do a good job of keeping those things on the field. Which is one of the reasons why I want, really wanted that ghost type and grabbed a little Marowak. As I really wanted a spin blocker. Um, just in case there's a week, you know, that they're clearing that they, their defugger, if they have one, or it's got a bad matchup, and I can use a Lolowak to spin block for, I don't know, Delmize maybe. I don't know, just saying things out loud. I haven't looked that closely at the other teams. Completed drafts. But yeah, so Aerodos running out of tier fives, and our last pick of the draft, 
as I mentioned, we were able to wait, take our Mega, go get Batista the Mega Swampert. Just another Rain Spam Abuser, um, Ground Type, helps his team out, didn't have a Ground Type. Obviously, I will have to be careful about Earthquake and Bulu, but still, it's a very good Mon. Uh, I do definitely play the 4 times weakness game a little bit with this team, with Bulutran and um, Swampert. But as I said, I can kind of cover all of those in certain ways. Uh, even those three together help each other out a lot. Um, but yeah, so we will see how this team goes. It's kind of a little bit... Um, derivative a little bit of what team... Um, Wolfie's using currently with in the WBE with the Sleepboard Spirits, just the rain team. I have been I like to take I I do like weather teams. I think they're fun. I wanted to drop something fun um, for this to bring here. To me, this is a lot of mons I haven't used before. A lot of mons I haven't used in a while. Um, and the return of one of my favorites in draft league format in Hitmon Lee. So very excited about that. I'm very much looking forward to this season, very much looking forward to using this team, and I think it's going to be an interesting one. I've, I've, got, a, I've got a pretty good feeling that I'm going to fail spectacularly with this team, but I think I'll go down having fun. Um, on the other hand, this team definitely has a whole lot of win cons, um, and it's, it's definitely a bit of a scary one to prep for in my mind. Uh, even though it is not the best team, it's one of those that you feel like it should be easier to beat this team, but it's really not. So, hopefully this will go well. And either way, I plan to bring you all the battles that we can, we can do for this season to the channel, so you can follow along and see how badly I am doing, or how surprisingly good I am doing. Either way, have a great day everybody. Have a nice day, because Coach Oak said so. Stay tuned and see you next time.